June too soon, July stand by. That's usually the refrain as we go through the hurricane season. But out there in the eastern Atlantic, there's a system, an area of low pressure developing. It's a strong tropical wave and it has a low chance, up to 20% of it developing. But even regardless of how it develops over the next few days, it will likely be a large rainmaker across the southern Windward Islands by early next week. It is encountering some strong wind shear. That means that development will be slow to occur. There's also some dry air towards the north, but a lot of moisture is still going to be filing in out towards the southern Windward Islands come early next week. So we're watching that system quite closely. You can just pick it up here. The orange colors milking the intense rains. Some of that could likely be some stronger downpours as well. Meanwhile, across the Gulf of Mexico, there's a potential for some development there. Also an area of a low pressure set to come through. Generally, the area around the Belize into Honduras uh, could be seeing some of the torrential rains, mudslides, as well as affecting some of building seas as they go through the next few days as well. So we'll start our tour then in the Western Caribbean, where we'll pick up some of the showers that are spilling over into Kingston, Jamaica, 32 degrees Celsius, as well as some thunderclouds likely for Havana in Cuba. Towards uh, Hispaniola, spillover of some showers likely there as well. Down towards the eastern areas, it's quite bright, quite dry, quite fine across uh, the northern half of the island chain. We will only pick up the showers to get into Barbados and further south into Grenada as well. But the heavier bursts are still going to be across in uh, Georgetown, Grenada, 31 degrees Celsius. The possibility of some heavier rains come late on Sunday as that system moves further towards the east. So that's your Caribbean travel weather and that's it from me.